Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to import content from an RSS feed on the internet um, and have it in your site using feeds. Okay? So in the last lesson, we imported a CSV. Now we're going to create a new feed importer, and we're going to have it inputting an RSS feed. So, like you did last time, go to Structure, Feed Importers, and this time we're going to add an importer, and it's just going to be RSS. Okay. And you can name this whatever you want, of course. Um, so now so we're going to just go through these settings again like we did last time. Um, we're going to use this as a standalone form again, uh, periodic input. Let's check every week. So every week this is going to check and see if this RSS feed has changed. I know uh, the RSS feed I'm using is from a friend of mine. Devin Kerr, his website. So I know he doesn't update it that often. So I might as well check it every week and that way I don't have to worry about it running all the time. However, if you're taking from content that runs or updates much more frequently, you can have it update as often as possible if you'd like. Okay. Um, and we'll click save here. You can also import on submission um, so that you can click import and uh, it's going to create those nodes, which we'll leave checked. And we're going to have this be an HTTP fetcher, download content from a URL. Okay, we'll leave that be. Settings. Um, auto detect feeds. No, we have the RSS feed right here, so we don't need it to auto detect. Um, okay. However, you know, if you don't, you can give it a website. I'd probably recommend that you have the feed handy. Okay. So now we're going to use a common syndication partner, or a parser, because this is an RSS feed. Okay. And we'll click settings for that. Um, looks like there's nothing to nothing to uh, do here, so we're going to go to processor, and we're going to create uh, nodes out of this, just like we did before. And let's go to our settings. So we're going to want to update existing nodes. We're going to import this as plain text, and we'll just have this be feeds again, just so we can say, okay, um, expire nodes. Uh, no, we don't want them to expire. So we'll click save here, and then mapping. So I'm going to use this mapping here, and I'm going to say the title is going to be mapped to our title. We'll click add, and um, we want these to be unique, but we'll get to that in a second. And then description, I'm going to set that to the body, and we'll click add. Okay, and now I'll click unique target, because we have to save here, save. Okay, so now we have our feed set up. Now it's the uh, the fun part again. We get to import our feed. Okay, so let's go to your uh, uh, your domain slash import. Okay, and now you see our new feed here. We can click RSS, and um, I'm just going to put in the path to our feed. So you can copy that, put the URL in here, and we can click import and see what happens. Okay, here's the progress bar. And as you can see, it created 10 nodes. Let's check those out. So find content. Okay, here is his posts. Um, this is really great. So this is all of his, his posts right here. And then let's say we go to edit. Um, okay, so some of this stuff, because we're importing as plain text, um, if we change this to full HTML, as you can see, uh, so we would have wanted to maybe import this as full HTML, plain text, whatever doesn't matter for now, uh, because really all that matters is that we're able to get this information in here, okay? And once you, let's say, uh, find out you did something wrong, you can always tweak your feed importer and re-import. You can even delete all the pieces of content like I showed you last time and re-import or just update them and re-import, okay? So that is how you import content from an RSS feed into Drupal using feeds. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.